I recently found this old small fan in my basement which offers two speed modes to cool me off rapidly. Sounds exciting, right? Well, not really. So in this video, let's modify this fan with a couple of LEDs to create a persistence of vision display, or POV for short, in order to create patterns, words or many other things if you get creative. Let's get started. First off, I remove the protective grille by unscrewing one screw and also remove the propeller from the shaft with a bit of force. But before designing the later rotating popsicle stick though, we need to understand how POV works. A good example is my 4x4x4 multiplexed RGB LED cube. While it looks like all LEDs emit a green light at the same time, it is actually just one layer at a time, but by going through the layers in a matter of microseconds, our eyes simply fuse those single layer lightups together due to its inertia. The same applies to our rotating LEDs. While it looks like I use dozens of them when the fan is spinning, there are actually just 5 of them, which turn on and off in a matter of microseconds as well. If you are wondering why exactly 5 of them, it is the minimum number to draw ladders. And now that we understand the theory a bit more, let's build this thing already. I firstly measured out the possible diameter of the new propeller, which I set to 17cm. With the help of Inkscape, I then created such a rectangle with a height of 2cm, which correlates with the height of the Arduino Pro Mini I will use as the brain of the organization. Next, I rounded off the edges, added 5 5mm holes at the end of one side for the LEDs and finally added a 6mm hole in the center of the vector graphic for the rotating shaft of the fan. Then I printed the design, used scissors to cut it out and glued it to a leftover piece of 6mm thick beech plywood. Afterwards, I used a handsaw to make the rough shape and filed to create the curve on each side. Through the help of a drill, I completed the shape by creating the necessary holes and used acetone and sandpaper in the end to remove the remaining paper excess. Now the finished stick will definitely not win a beauty competition, but on the other hand, it fits snugly onto the motor shaft and spins without any difficulties. Only problem was the newly occurring vibration, which is the result of a mass center which does not correspond with the center of rotation. Or simply put, the popsicle stick is unbalanced. But since this is just a prototype, we will take care of that later. For now, I got myself an 80 mAh LiPo battery as a power source and a fitting protection circuit, which will prevent it from over discharge. Then I grabbed 5 red LEDs with 200 ohm resistors, which will emit a decent amount of light over the complete voltage range of the battery. Additionally, I used the already mentioned Arduino Mini and a small switch. At first I positioned the LEDs in the holes, bent their pins and sold all of the cathodes together. After a short test, I sealed the deal with hot glue and sold the resistors to the pins 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 of the Arduino. And while I was at it, I also sold the wire to the VCC and ground pin. Next, I glued the Arduino to the wood and connected the resistors to the anode of the LEDs in this constellation. Then I glued the slide switch and the LiPo battery to the other side of the stick, sold the wire of the plus terminal and VCC pin of the Arduino to the switch and connected the minus terminal of the battery directly to the ground pin through another wire. And that is basically the whole circuit, pretty simple. As a first test code, I lit up the LEDs one after the other in two alternating directions. To upload it to the Arduino, I used an FTDI breakout which pins I just pressed onto the corresponding pins of the Arduino. After bringing the stick into position, it was time for the first results, which already looked more exciting than the usual boring fan. And best of all, the vibration is gone as well, because I balanced out the mass distribution on both sides by accident. Now to speed up the light pattern, I decreased the time between the LED changes, which resulted in a triangle wave, at least at certain moments. 
Most of the time though, the pattern does not stay still and seems like it's rotating as well. The reason for that are the different frequencies. While the motor reaches around 450 RPM, so 7.5 Hz, the triangle pattern has a frequency of 242 Hz, which is not an even multiple of 7.5 Hz. That means that the pattern does not have the same starting point in every cycle. It always moves a bit to the right and left, which creates the movement. Before fixing this problem though, I also created a couple of functions to display different ladders. I simply stored the necessary LED states for each ladder in an array and then activated them through two for loops. After uploading the new codes, the results were once again not that great, because the pattern does not stay still. To get rid of that problem, I got myself a U18 Hall Effect sensor with a 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor. After hooking it up to my LabBench power supply, according to my finished schematic of this build, you can see that by bringing a magnet close to it, the output state changes its voltage value, which we can use as an indicator for a start point of the light pattern. So I glued the IC to the stick, sold the output to pin 7 of the Arduino and hooked it up to power. Of course, you can also find a parts list, schematic, codes and better pictures as always on Instructables. After mounting a magnet to the protective grill of the fan, adjusting the code so that it reacts to a change of the input voltage value and doing some final tests, this project is finally complete and it surely does look awesome. I hope you liked this video. If so, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, consider supporting me through Patreon to keep such videos coming, stay creative and I will see you next time.